Good morning, Trey. So US dollar saw some decent strength in Wednesday's session with the dollar index there starting at about 104.67 and rising to a high of 105, or getting through that resistance at 105 and getting into a high of 105.14 uh, on the back of some firmer US Treasury yields. So despite this rally, the dollar index is heading into the end of the month, looking to have its first monthly decline since December 2023. So ahead today for dollar traders, we have uh, US GDP as well as several Fed speakers, including uh, Fed member Williams at the New York Economic Club. Um, Japanese yen declined again, the US against the US dollar with uh, those rising yields really pushing that uh, US 10, Japanese 10 rate differential higher. Uh, dollar yen remained above that 157 level, pushing to a high of 157.74, um, which is a level, was hitting those levels back in April where we saw intervention from the Bank of Japan. And we also saw some remarks from um, Bodge board member Adachi, who uh, said that excessive yen falls, um, if they affect the achievement of the Bodge's price target, they may respond with monetary policy. Uh, did fail to help the yen too much, though. Uh, Aussie dollar had a, um, and to some extent the Kiwi dollar saw some initial strength on the back of the hotter than expected Aussie CPI figures. Uh, coming out in the APAC session. The strength did fade in the UK and US session though, with both Aussie and Kiwi resuming their weakness, tracking really just tracking risk appetite as, as equities dipped. Uh, Aussie US holding just above that psychological 66 US cents level coming into the APAC session on Thursday.